Hola amigos y amigas. My name is Bressy Lee and today we're in Denver, Colorado. I'm with the amazing Eileen. And we're gonna show you how to shoot high speed sync to get that nice buttery background. And we're gonna show you a trick on how you can get it without high speed sync as well. All right, I'm gonna have you rotate. Rotate your hips to the right. There you go, good. Bend that left leg, go up on the toe. Good, eyes on me. Yeah. Bring that back elbow around a little more. Good. Upper body's lean forward a tiny bit. Yeah. Good. Nice here. Good. Push all the hair to the other side. All right, so the camera gear we're using today, I'm using my Canon 5D Mark IV with the 85 1.8. It's uh, super affordable, super crisp and sharp. It's my go-to lens. I'm gonna start off with a single light. We're using an Interfit S1. And we're gonna start off using non-high-speed sync. Core nice and tight. Perfect. Good. Perfecto. Ojo, oh, Sammy. Good, let me see that back hand. Can left hand around? Okay. Good. Just like that. Imagine you don't have high-speed sync on your strobe. The way that you can get that nice buttery bokeh in the back. I've got an ND filter and a polarizer. This has been my go-to light setup for the longest time because when I first started, my lights did not have high-speed sync. But now I do. So let me show you the shots when we use high-speed sync. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, let's the face this way again. Good. Rotate. Spin that left knee. A little more arch. Right there. Good. Bring the eyes back to me. Good. There. Good. Bring the eyes over to your right. Alright guys, so there you have two different shots using high-speed sync and one without high-speed sync. If you don't have high-speed sync capabilities on your current strobes, I can drop a link down to the filters that I use and then you can try it yourself and see if it works for you. Comment down below if you can tell a huge difference between the high speed sync versus the ND filter look. If you learned something new, click on that like button and click on that notification bell. Huge thanks again to the model over here. Until next time, we'll see you next week.